Welcome to the show. Pleasure to be here. What are we going to talk about today? Well, I thought I'd look at how normally D looks compared with its predecessor Extra Normal. Sounds interesting. Didn't Extra Normal implode? Yeah, it suddenly shut up shop and left a lot of people without access to the content and resources they had created. It was a big disappointment. I had been using it to create quite a lot of little teaching videos and projects. I even created a stock of neutral raw footage for students to practice editing on. That was in a video editing session I was running for some trainee teachers. What did they have to do? Well they just had to deal with footage that was recorded in the way that a single camera news reporter would have made it and then rearrange it into news interview format with cutaways and noddies. That sounds useful. Anyway there was a long period of time with nothing, then there was about a year while it was announced that a successor called Normal would rise out of the ashes. Took a long time to actually arrive. And when it did, you bought into it straight away? No I didn't. It was horrendously expensive, still is really. The main program was over a thousand dollars a year on first release but now it seems to have skyrocketed to two thousand dollars. No way I could afford that. So what did you do? I waited and then I saw there was an EDU version coming, but even that was a hundred US dollars a year. Still way too much for me, and it seemed to be pretty restricted as to what you would be able to do with it with regard to publishing. Oh, I see. Well a while ago they offered a three month half price EDU subscription. I considered it but resisted. Now that we have gone into a COVID-19 lockdown, I thought I would take the plunge and have a go with it. What did you think of it? Actually at first glance I thought it was going to be much the same. Just with less characters. But? Yeah, it quickly became obvious that the ETE version was really knackered. There are so many things I can't do anymore, it is a real shame. Like what? Well for a start, it is really weird because for an ETE version there are not really any decent classroom settings. There is a limitation that there can only be two characters in a scene which I can live with but the kicker is you can't move the characters to a suitable position. I had heard that you couldn't have them walk around anymore. Still I assumed you'd be able to place the characters where you needed them to be, for example, next to a computer screen or a different part of the room. Why can't I stand by that pot plant over there? You can't? No, the two characters are fixed to two predetermined locations in each setting. You can't even change the direction they are facing, just whether they are looking at the camera or the other person. Can they do that in the full version? Well I bloody well hope so for the coin they are charging. Anything else? Well you can't customize the characters, you can't make them walk around can't have more than two. They seem to be in the pro version. I accept that. Another thing which is different from the original is the number of voices available. There used to be more international English voices such as Australian, and I think you could even import more. That's not there. The change between cameras is now limited to just cuts. I used to be able to have zooms and transitions which was much smoother. You sound like you are pretty disappointed. True. I was hoping I'd be able to jump right back into a few basic videos for the kids, but I doubt that I'll continue past my first quarter subscription. I'll have to think carefully about that. Are those things really limitations? Take the set for example, we are stuck here on these two seats but really there is a whole other part of the set over there. We just can't use it. It even has a screen behind it called the main screen in the menu, but we are stuck over here with the left screen. I feel deprived. You are? What would make you change your mind? Well a couple of simple things would certainly help. Let me place a character anywhere in the set. I don't mind being limited to just two people. Let me rotate the character to face the direction in the set that I need. Those two things would let me work with the existing sets in a more realistic way. I don't need them to walk around. I used that in the past and it was fun, but I can see that as a reasonable feature for their pro version. However if they really want to call themselves an ETU version they should really create a few decent classroom sets. I believe you have a few clips of previous videos. Can you show them to us? Okay here is one where I moved a character to be beside a computer screen. That is useful to talk about ICT stuff. It also shows that I could get the character to look at an object. I see. Next you can see that zooms and inserted backgrounds are really useful for teaching. What else? Well I said I don't need more than two characters for the EDU version, but this just shows what else you can consider if you do have more. Okay. Right. 
I understand you want to embed a web page browser in a PowerPoint. Creating a web page within PowerPoint is useful to be able to access web content in the middle of a presentation. You can have it at the end of the presentation and branch to and from it from any slide. However, you will have to make your PowerPoint macro enabled and select the enable security. They are all pretty old, aren't they? Session. Yes, from 2012. It is a shame to seem to have lost functionality instead of progressing. Thanks for your assessment. I hope Normal will make some changes to accommodate your needs. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye.